morning, my wild and crazy golden ears, or good afternoon or good evening, depending on when you're joining me. If it's your first time, my name is Lala and welcome. Today's tutorial is going to be about spring and summer makeup in a timely fashion. Now there's some looks where I can get out under five minutes. I'm never in a rush, but a lot of people like this. And my favorite is the 10 minutes and under. That's where I want a little bit more coverage where I can add my blush and bronzer and get out the door quickly. And let me get my ducks in a row because that's very important. This is how I've set out my makeup for everyday look. See this little thing I'm showing you here? So it's easy for me to find. And then I have my makeups that I mostly use there, right handy and a couple of eye palettes over here to the left. And then I have bronzer and blush and I have a two of my setting powders and my pomade. I go with my girlfriend to the beach uh, once a year, at least for 10 days. So I'll take my little travel bag. See this little thing? I got this at Wally World, I believe. And it holds just what I'm going to use for the week and it makes it simple. So if you, you know, you have to be to work early in the morning, you don't want to get up any earlier, then there's place, places in your skincare you can save time just in the mornings and that is to wash your face or if you've really cleansed the night before, you really don't need to wash your face. Then you use a really, really good moisturizer and sunscreen. Wait about five minutes after you've applied your hydrating moisturizer and then apply your sunscreen. And then I would wait at least five or 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes between that before you start your makeup. So in those, that case, you go get your coffee, your breakfast, get your, make your lunch for work, whatever you do in that time. And then you come in and you're ready to start. So what I'm gonna show you first is this real simple. I'm not even gonna time it because that stresses me out. You'll be able to do this in five minutes or less. Okay, so what I start with, I've already had all my skincare and my sunscreen on, is my Smashbox uh, primer. Because I do have um, the Wild and Crazy Pores, and I do have Roatia. So I use this Color Correcting by Smashbox. And I use a, always use a damp sponge. So I shake it good, put it on my hand, like a so. Take my little brush here, brush my little blender and I'm going to go over the spots where I need help. I have a little red row issue down here. I like to cover that. Uh, so I've got a little, I found a little tip on how to put some very light powder because we are mature skin. Our skin is very dry, especially if you use tretinoin or vitamin C or glycolic acids, something that's drying. It, it can really wreck habit in those areas. And I like that to sit a minute. So I will go on to my brows. And now I'm trying this. I usually love the pomade um, because I, it just, it's, I love the staying power of it and how it looks. But I'm gonna try this by L'Oreal. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna do, because I have tattooed, I have a little template. But unfortunately, the color she used didn't match. Now see, this is ash brown but I th don't think it's dark enough. I don't know. I like to try to get closer to the, you know, the roots of my hair and my skin tone, but we're, we're gonna try this. And I have another little thing I like. This is Give Me Brow. It's the uh, gel, it's a tinted gel in ash brown or dark brown. And I like to go in and it helps because I have some gray, gray hair here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and you always want to keep your little, um, I tell you about the little correcting brush that has some, should have some uh, concealer on it to help clean up. So I'm going to try this. I don't think they're going to be as dark as I want. I have such sparse, this side has rarely any, has rarely any hair, has hardly any hair. Maybe we'll try the other side. And I don't put makeup on my brows anyway. The pomade, but I'm not fast with the pomade either. I just, it's a little more time consuming to put on. Yeah, this color is not, well, we'll see. Gotta quit B. These, this does help cover that gray hair. And I then I take my little spoon. Uh oh, that's my cousin. She's stuck in my pocket. But today, takes just the amount, same amount of time. I'm using this, I love this makeup, by L'Oreal True Match. Brush, brush. 
I'm gonna take my blush, my, oh, my beauty blender. <gasps> Ooh, put a big bit, and this is in N4, which is neutral light medium. Put it on my brush, my, bl my blender, and I just start going around. And I put it first where I want the most coverage. Because sometimes you don't need to put this everywhere. It's just a really lovely, see? Lovely color. It's just a nice drugstore makeup. I don't do my eyeballs. And then, okay. So I just do nice, easy coverage. Now I'm gonna tell you the little secret is the powder. Before you go any further, I take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's very light and lovely. I get a little bit of it. I take a little pad, like so, and I will dip it in the lid, kind of tap it off, and then I will press it in to the areas right around my nose where it's gonna set, where it will set in your wrinkles. You don't need a lot. I have wrinkles right here, up here, so I will push it in there. Okay, now we can move on. So then I go to my eyes. My primer, that's right, I wasn't gonna put the eye, eye stuff on in a quick version. I am going to take the uh, Lash Sensational, and it's a tinted primer. They have a clear, if you want, or they have a white, you know, row. This is my Urban Decay uh, water waterline thingy. So what you could do too, because it doesn't it doesn't dry. But you just do right along your lash line. That's what I like. Just it gives me a little bit more like my like I have false eyelashes on. It's not easy. I still feel like I'm rushing. You'll find your own way. And then I take my little fun spoolie there, not spoolie, brush, and I will go carefully so you don't poke your eye out. This left eye always gets cloggy. It's funny. Okay. Now we don't do any concealer and any of that until we're all done with our eyes because we'll have fallout. So now I'm going to take my mascara. Make sure you don't have any on the end. And I'll start at the bottom. Kind of wiggle. Wiggle up. And do as many coats as you need. I end up coming back later before I head out. Like I said, you could do this a lot faster if you're not talking to yourself. <laughs> Nose up. Okay. And then I do my lips. So I love this by MAC, Lip Liner in Sore. You kinda, I have small lips, so I wanna make them a little more pouty. So I will go under here. Start like that. Just give yourself a little round lip and then follow up normal along your line. Make sure you always have your little lip brush here ready in case you Make a huge mistake. And then I give myself a little bit of an exaggerated cupid bow. It's important to have a really creamy liner. Okay. And I fill it in a little bit with it. You don't have to. I go on the sides. Leave the middle open. And I'll do the same over here. I do go down. Okay, then I had a lipstick, and this is a 183 New Exuberant by, by L'Oreal, I think. And I, I have a lip brush, but I don't, this seems to go on pretty well, so I just take it, yeah. And it's a little darker than the lipstick, but that's what I like since I haven't done much to my eyes. Careful. within your lines. So that's the quick, quick version. And I talked, so it was probably 10 minutes. Ha, I'll cut it down. I'm gonna do the eyeshadow that I didn't do before. And I showed you I was gonna use this palette, but there's a couple of colors in here. This is by um, 
Immaculage, their palette, is I'm going to take on from the Immaculage palette this like slightly rose color here. So I'm going to dab my brush on it. And then I look down. I've got the uh, eye makeup on. I mean the mascara, so it's a little bit harder. This is very, very light, light makeup. And I put this on the majority of my lid. Usually, I forgot that step, is I will take my concealer, which is by uh, Lancome. I've used this many times, and I put that on my eyelids, and then I put a light powder on it, translucent powder. That is the Laura Mercier. And, um, you know, I just want it. This is a light one. This is my 10-minute routine when I do it all in order. Then I will take my crease brush, and I'm going to go in the darker purple. I'm not sure if it's purple. Well, here we go. Get some on my crease brush. And then I take my Kleenex. I saw this on one lady did this where she folds it over and she gets it, you know, right down here on the brow and right under so that we just do a little L shape. So I'll take it in my corner. Oh, it's a brown. And keep that right there so that I don't have to really worry that I'm going to get it all over Canada. This is a lot easier too when you have, you don't have your mascara on. I hate this mirror. I'm going to have to get, okay, this eye I can see better. Okay. Go right along your crease and then right into the corner. And do this. I try to look down. Okay, and then we'll have a lot of fallout, but we'll fix that. And then I'm going to take this little teeny tiny one here, and I'm going to put it in this light purple right here. And that's going to go on my eye, just on the very top here, right above your eyeball. And this is going to just add a little bit of light here. And then I will take my detailed one, a little more fluffy. I like this little fluffy, tiny little fluffy. And I'm going to put it in this purple glitter. See? Shake off the excess. And that's going in the corner of my eye. See, and I like shimmer. I do. I know we're not supposed to wear a bunch of shimmer. But it was so beautiful. So I add a little shimmer, and then again I take my big brush to blend it all in. Bring a little up. You can put a little purple under your brow too. Yeah. Now I have to clean up the fallout underneath. I dip a little bit in there. And then when I do, I go right in the inside and then I do a little out here to clean up any fallout from if I didn't get my uh, makeup in there. The fallout. I'll put it there and then I usually take my little wet sponge. It helps because I'm under your eyes get so dry because it's so paper thin. And I bring it down a little bit because of my nose. So this is nice light. You don't need to put powder under your eyes. So I will take, I have a Lori Mercier and this is a brightening powder. So you have, I have a little fluffy brush for my powder. And I will dip it in. And I will put it under my eye. I will press it. Just like how we did alongside our noses. And if you don't want to use powder, you can take your um, setting spray, spray some on your finger and pat that on too. In fact, and I'm going to take a little of this setting spray on my finger, very easy. Probably should have did it on this finger and pat that in there. So 
So now what I like to do is my bronzer by Say. It's, uh, let's see, I think I've showed you this before. This is Light Bronze Sun Melt. And I use it mostly for contour. And I have a little contour brush here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Okay. It's a little elf brush. So I'll go on the side with it and just go up here. It's very soft. A little contour in there on the other side. And where the sun has kissed me. Sun likes to kiss me. Down here. And if you want a little more contouring on your neck, go right down the sides with it. Just the sides. Make sure you blend it in. I also have a bigger, fluffier brush, too. Once I've applied it, this really helps to blend it in. So I said, yeah, I don't like to hurry with my makeup. This is just so, I so love it. And I like to do my nose. Where's my nose? Here's my nose. I like to get my nose contoured. So I'll go straight down with a little lightly. So my snoz, snoz doesn't look so huge. I feel if I use a cream bronzer, I should use a cream blush. And this is by Bobbi Brown. I don't usually go high end like this, but boy, I tried it. There's a special on it. Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. Very pretty, very, it's plummy. And I'll take it with my fingers first and I go just because as I said, I have Roatia, pretty little. It's a contour or for me with the, the creams. Mm -hmm. And I always have a little, I feel like I have less control with creams and I don't want to look like a clown. Maybe I'll try it now with this instead of my fingers. That works better. Just take it out, not too much on my apples. Like I said, I like to go up the banana belt. If it looks too, I'll take my pat, pat, pat. And I'll sometimes do a little like this. And like I said, with the powder, if you see there's, it might be subtly more. I don't even repowder it. I just, I go where I feel it's needed. And then I set it with my MAC um, matte finish. Say, <coughs> take my brush, my brush, I consider my blending, beauty blender, and I'll go over. Now this is the kind of look I like for uh, every day. So this is, if, if I hadn't been talking and running through this whole thing, I would have had my stuff out and I would have had it done in under 10 minutes. And the other one uh, would have been done in, you know, three minutes or so, three to five minutes. Makeup is the creme de la creme. So get out, laugh, be wild, whatever it is, express yourself, dance on tables if that's it, climb trees. Well, those days are over for me. I can dance on a table if it's flush with the ground. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon.